Hello, this is Nancy Hearn from Projetech, and today's Maximo tool is about escalations, and in particular, how to write escalations on groups of records. As you probably know, escalations are a powerful tool within Maximo for monitoring records for certain conditions. Conditions on which you may want to notify people, you may want to take actions, or you may even want to change data within those records. When you first start writing escalations, you will probably write them based on conditions you're looking for in individual records. For example, monitoring work orders to see if they've reached their target completion date, or monitoring contracts to see if they're about to expire. Today I want to take a slightly different look at escalations, and that is how to write them to look at data in the broader sense and check for conditions in the aggregate. We'll go into the Escalations application, where I've bookmarked just a few sample escalations. Some of these came with the demo data that comes with Maximo. But here at the bottom is the one that I've written to show today. In this scenario, I want to notify any of my tech leads if they have more than one work order that's open that has a priority of one. In other words, when they come into work, if they have two high priority work orders assigned to them, I would want to give them a heads up and suggest that they get with someone to analyze the relative priority. So the keys to writing escalations like this are first what it applies to. Even though I am analyzing work order data, I'm writing this escalation so that it applies to the labor code. In this way, for every person that has this condition, they will only get one email notification whether they had two orders, work orders that meet this criteria or 52 work orders that meet this criteria. The second aspect of it is, in my condition code, I've used some aspects of SQL that are a little bit more advanced than things you may be using in your current select statements. I select based on the labor code, but then I use a subselect on the work order table. That actually mines the work order data to detect how many work orders they have that meets the criteria I'm looking for. So the subselect on the work order table is the first SQL aspect. The second SQL clause that is key here is the group by lead. So I'm selecting the work orders, and then with the work orders that met the criteria, I group them by lead so that I can analyze for each person if they've met this criteria. The third piece of SQL code that's key here is the having clause. So I've grouped the work orders by lead. Now I need to analyze how many there were for each lead person to determine if they need to receive this escalation email. So the having count greater than one looks for any person who has more than one work order that met this criteria. Other than the condition statement, the rest of the escalation setup is pretty standard escalation. The schedule is set up so that it runs daily at 3 a.m. In that way, I'll make sure that there is a, an email waiting for that person in their inbox if they're a first shift employee, and they, when they come into work, they can find out if this condition is true. Down here in the notifications, I've used a commu communication template that also is based on labor. Because my escalation is based on labor, my communication template also is based on labor and uses the max user relationship to determine the email address to send it to. Down in my message, I've written a very simple message, but you could have more detailed instructions about who to see or what to do if they receive this notification. With that, once I have validated my escalation and everything is active, that escalation will run every day at 3 a.m. and send emails to any labor codes that meet that criteria. To see the email that comes, here is a snapshot of the email that I sent to myself during my test. So that's a little bit about escalations. If you have any questions about this, about writing escalations or Maximo in general, we'd be happy to hear from you at Project Tech. Thank you very much.